So, I am finally back with some VGC19 Sun Series Battle Spot. It has been quite a while since I've done any kind of Battle Spot stuff. Um, I did stream the International Challenge um, this last weekend. Um, managed to go 25-3 and 3, uh, with an 18-11 record, so I was, I was very happy with that. But it's been a while since I've actually put some Battle Spot onto the YouTube channel. So, I'm going to be coming back with this um, team that Justin Burns used to get second place. I think was it Roanoke? It was a it was a US regional. I'm pretty sure it was Roanoke. Um, as you can see, I haven't played too many games on Battle Spots. So the racing's not going to be that that great, but um, got to start somewhere. And yeah, like I've, I've basically just had a bit of a break from Pokemon. Um, I am. Oh, is that is that the the John, Ethan? Okay, he's just using the QR. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a bit of a break because um, I'm in my third year of uni. Um, I got my dissertation stuff to start thinking about and all other kind of uni stuff. And I just wanted to a bit of a break from Pokemon so I could come back to it with a fresh mind. Which I have done and got a pretty decent rating in the IC. So we've got Harrogate. The Harrogate regional is coming up in, in a couple of weeks as well. So I need to be ready for that. So Interesting that you'd have the... What's the Tox... The Tox cross over the normal Kartana slash Serena. I think it's normally Kartana now, like the original was Serena, but I think you can s quite comfortably say Kartana now instead. Um, I do want to go with Lunala, but the problem is if he taunts me with Tornadus. But he can't do that if I lead with Lele as well. So I think that makes sense. Then... Do I want my Kyogre now that he's got Toxicroak? Kyogre's reasonable. I think I do want Kartana. I don't think I'm going Trick Room route here. I think it's between Amoongus and Kyogre. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with Kyogre. I think Amoongus could be better, but... Oh well, too late now. Because this Lunalo is quite interesting. It's got Tailwind and Trick Room. Um, so you can control whichever speed you want. Um, normally, want, like, if he's going Tornadus, I might want to Trick Room here instead. Even though I have got the Choice Scarf, um, Tapu Lele. Xerneas and Toxicroak. Okay, that's actually pretty reasonable, I would say. Because he can't fake out. I get a free shot onto that Toxicroak if I want. I could double Psychic the... Um, no, wait. I, I think I know what I need to do. It does have Psyshock. I'm pretty sure this Tapu Lele has a certain move. Ah, oh, it does. Nice. Let's go for that. Let's go for this Magic Room. And hopefully lock this Xerneas into Geomancy if it goes for it. It would be ideal if it does. Because then I get the guaranteed double Psyshock into it. Unless he goes into Amoongus as well. So we're, draw we're drawing Toxicroak. Could be Incineroar here. It is Incineroar, but that's fine. If he goes for Geomancy, everything is all good. He did attack. He didn't protect. Let's see this Geomancy. Damn it. He knew. <laughs> yeah, that was a good turn for him. So now, Shadow Shield's been broken as well, so Knock Off will KO me. So it's probably worth getting my Tailwind here. I want—I need to keep both of these for the Toxicroak. Although Smart Strike with a Life Orb probably KOs Toxicroak. So I will Tailwind, and it was it, it was Psychic rather than Psyshock, okay, but that doesn't really matter, because um, he's not going to go be going for Geomancy here. Um, he is timid though, so he's probably going to KO my Lele here, he's probably going to get a double knockout, but then um, I do have my Kartana and Kyogre in, in Tailwind for, for three turns, so we'll see how this goes. But this will KO now, the Shadow Shield's gone. And 
As you can see, safety goggles for the, the pesky Among Us and Venusaur. And Smiggle, I guess, but I don't know whether, whether Spore or Lovely Kiss is more common. Like, I can understand Lovely Kiss, I would never use it, but there we go. So now... I didn't get the Psychic on any, so it should still have full health, right? But because it's timid, it shouldn't be bulky enough to survive the Smart Strike. But you can very easily just go into Toxic Rock here with the um, Incineroar. I'm going to hope that Life Orb Smart Strike is enough to KO the Toxicroak. Because if not, um, him keeping the, the switch is going to be a bit awkward. Wait, Magic Room. I Magic Roomed my own Life Orb away. So this will no longer KO. And I don't have Mystic Water either. Okay, so this has backfired a lot. <laughs> Forgot about my own Magic Room. So I'm, I'm, I'm screwing myself over here. Because this is no longer a Life Orb Smart Strike. Uh, Life Orb wouldn't have got it uh, anyway. But is this going to recover him enough? Oh, with his rain dry skin as well, it will be. Yeah, that's that's way too much health. But now, does the Xerneas switch into Incineroar? Because I can still just KO it here. How many more turns at Magic Room? Still got two turns of Magic Room. I'm going to double into the Toxic Rope, expecting the Xerneas to switch into the Incineroar. If he stays in, I think it's just already game over. He's switching the Toxic Rope. Huh. So he is attacking with the Xerneas. Interesting. But he's losing Tornadus. But... If we'd have just spouted... I, like, obviously we're not going to spout there. Because the Smart Strike no longer carried the Toxic Croak. So, that does make sense. But I expected the Xerneas to switch out instead. Um, but... Into Kyogre. Okay, so the... We need to switch to Origin Pulse now instead of Water Spout. Got one more turn in Magic Room. He is intimidating my my Kartana now, so even when the magic room ends, that won't be so good. Can't fake out. Probably should switch into Toxicroak and protect the Xerneas. Because then the Psychic Terrain will also end, the magic room will end, and he'll get his Geomancy. So I don't think there's too much I can do to stop that now. I think I might need to go for a Thunder Paralysis on the Xerneas next turn. So I'm going to Smart Strike the Incineroar. And I will Thunder the Incineroar. Because Toxicroak and Xerneas, make, uh, Xerneas Protect makes a lot of sense. But even still, he'll, next turn he'll be able to just fake out my Cartano and get his Geomancy. So he attacked as well. Nah, he's outplaying me here. <laughs> this Thunder might not even KO. Because Toxicroak actually has a very reasonable bolt with Assault Vest. Damn. If I'd have gone for Smart Strike and Origin Pulse. That's twice now. I could have water moved, but I did not. So we got our Life Orb and Mystic Water back. But he's got his Power Herb. He just gets to fake out Kartana here. So I think I need to go for Thunder Paralysis. Because he can Geomancy. Because fake out Geomancy makes a lot of sense. So I will go for the Thunder Paralysis. Yep, made sense. And there's the Geomancy. We need this Thunder Paralysis. And if we get it, 
it's entirely possible because you can go for Smart Strike Origin Pulse. And that might clear... No, I'm at minus two, I think, with Kartana. Would that clear the field? Probably not. I don't know. We'll have to see. But 30%. Come on, Thunder. Bail us out. Nice. Nice. Okay. So now we've got awkward Origin Pulse stuff. Like, I, I don't think there's any reason not to Smart Strike an Origin Pulse, because Origin Pulse should knock out Incineroar. And we just need Origin Pulse and... It is minus two, right? Yeah, it's minus two, but now Life Orb Smart Strike. So we need to connect the Origin Pulse and KO with the Smart Strike. Okay, Origin Pulse. If he's a Salt Vest Incineroar, he'll live this Origin Pulse. So... One Kyogre, please be accurate. Origin Pulse is such a bad move, but. Okay, it hit. Don't be a Salt Vest. No, the Tox Probe is a Salt Vest. Incineroar's not living this. Okay, okay. This is very doable. Very doable. He would still outspeed my Kyogre, though. Um. It is still out of the rain as well, which I guess is smart. Um, but he needs to fight through full paralysis. Um, the smart strike won't KO because I'm minus two. But it is possible if he gets fully paralyzed, which he does do. So we've we've got this game <laughs> that we didn't really deserve. But there we go. Got to play to those outs, and we knock out the Xerneas. So it, it um, didn't matter that it, even if Origin Pulse missed that time, I could have just smart strike with Katana again. So. Yep. Thunder, full par <laughs> Thunder paralysis into full paralysis was the win condition. So it's important to recognize your win conditions. Screwed ourselves over a huge amount with our own magic room. Um, but managed to, to pull it back somehow. <laughs> I guess we take those. Um, so what a way, what a way to, to come back to, to believe in Boy. <laughs> I definitely could have played that um, the beginning of the game better. Magic room obviously wasn't the play. Um, he did call that very nicely and just attacked. Um, if we had double psychic into the Xerneas, that would have been wonderful, but alas, we had to rely on the Thunder, which ended up bailing us out, so we take those, we take those. So, I'm going to find a Canadian, also in the 1500s. I do need to climb a bit, but okay. So, I mean, like, there, I expected to see much more for Othons than, than there have been. Like, it's a much bulkier Kartana. I think the Kartana is better than than Frothon, but like it's it's you've got a lot of bulk and like no speed, but you've got a lot of bulk. Um, I think Lunale is a very reasonable lead against everything, but then he's got double fake out, so I could lead Lun um, Lele Lunala just to stop that. Could leave my own Incineroar. I do want to bring Incineroar because of his Ferothon. But then do I want to lead it and potentially lose it to like a Ludicolo Kyogre lead? No, I don't. So I will lead with Lale Lunala. I'm gonna bring my Kartana and my Incineroar, I think. Because Kyogre is bad against the Froth on the Ludicolo, his own Kyogre. Like, it's fine against the rest, but I almost feel like I need Incineroar just because of Froth on. Like, if it was Cortana, I'd probably still bring the Kyogre because of, like, Tailwind or Trick Room out, like, to get the Kyogre to outspeed the Cortana, but um, the Froth has got too much bulk. Um, I do have Moon Guys Beam that can hit it as well, I guess, but. I feel like, whenever there's a Frothon, I feel like you should always bring your Fire-type. You probably should always have a Fire-type. But then again, you're probably going to have an Incineroar, so... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I can go for Magic Room. <laughs> Magic Room did not work at all last time. Because you can't fake out. 
But do I go for the magic room again? Do I just go for the double psychic into the Xerneas? Because that would still KO. Because my psychic would go before his Geomancy, and then my Psyshock, even if he um, Geomancies, then the Psyshock will KO. But then he can go for Protect and knock off with his Incineroar as well. Hmm. Katana and Incineroar. Double Psychic just seems way too obvious. I'm gonna Tailwind. And Moonblast the Incineroar. Like, I feel like you need to protect Xerneas here. You can't afford to attack with it. There we go. Because Double Psychic is just a, a knockout, so... And Fairy Aura boosted Moonblast as well. Thank you very much, opposing Xerneas. Oh, that's definitely a Soul Vest. Like, because that's Fairy Aura boosted. Um, something's taking the knockoff. Um, both will live. Um, he could remove the Scarf for it. Nope, Snarl, okay. Okay, that's... That's very reasonable. Hmm. Yeah, Snarl changes things a lot. Because now, I can't just double into the Xerneas to KO it. I don't want to just raw switch in my Kartana. Um, do I want to raw switch in my, my, my Kartana? Because, I like, if he Flare Blitzes a slot, that's awful. So I can switch into my... No, I'm, I'm going to do it. He's not Flare Blitzing Lele. He would knock off Lele, if anything. And even then, we're just losing a Light Orb. Because we've got the Tailwind, so Kartana will outspeed. Um... So, unless it's Flare Blitz into Lele, then this is bad. And then then this is good. Other way around. Yeah, like with, with the Moonblast as well, that's doing nothing. And then we just got the Awkward Mind Game. Does Xerneas protect or not? Now, you've seen that I predicted the Xerneas Protect turn 1. So, does that mean that he's going to predict me to predict the Protect again? So, because I could Sacred Sword the, um, the Incineroar. Yeah, just to Snarl again. I want to switch to Lunala into Incineroar for sure. But then it, I think the game might come down to this Sacred Sword or Smart Strike. What did he have in the back? Nothing that could save him if I Sacred Sword the Incineroar. I'm going to Sacred Sword the Incineroar. Like, he does need to protect, but then he's seen that I, pr I do predict. So I could very easily predict this Xerneas Protect here. If he does protect Xerneas, then everything is all good. If he doesn't, probably gonna lose. Ooh, is that switch and protect? If that's switch and protect, that's that's pretty good. But if it's switch and attack, that's bad. Oh, he attacked, he got it, he got it. See? See I was saying, if like because I predicted turn one. I did Moonblast. That's awkward. It's a good play. It's a good play. And he fully committed to that as well because he switched out Incineroar. So. Hmm. Still got two turns. Tailwind, I should. Hmm. Yeah, this game is super awkward now. Especially because I've got Psychic over Psyshock on my Lele. And again, doubling Xerneas is so obvious here. I don't know if knockoff and psychic, because I want to lock into psychic, will knock out the... How do I even deal with his Incineroar anymore? I don't really, do I? So if I'd have had Kyogre here, that would have been a lot better. But... 
Hmm. So maybe I do need to lock into Moonblast. I, I, I think I need him to attack with Xerneas here. Like, he should protect it now. But he, yeah, he did. Because we've only got one more turn of um, Tailwind left. But yeah, like, I, I don't think I can beat the Incineroar anymore. So, that, that was a big mistake not bringing Kyogre. Yeah, and that puts me into Moonblast range now. Oh, you only have one more turn of Tailwind. Oh, then the Xerneas Protect made way too much sense. I thought I had to, like I would if I if I'd have seen that there was one more turn, I'd have definitely attacked the Lele. Um, but now we need to critical hit the um, critical hit the Xerneas. Yep, made sense putting my Incineroar in range, but we do need this crit. Which we don't get. Like, we've already got the Thunder Paralysis, so, like, I'm not complaining. And that does loads with the Fairy Aura boost. But I'm not used to Moonblast doing that much to Lele's. Unless you see Life Orb recoil after it, so it's quite funny. But yeah. If we had White Guard on um, Lunala, it could be possible, but then you should always Moonblast with Xerneas here. So... Unfortunate. There's a good play attacking with Xerneas. Like, like you, you could follow my logic, right? Like, I predicted the Protect turn 1. That means I make predictions, which means he will predict my prediction. So, but then I didn't follow that logic to the end, which I should have done. And I should have Smart Strike the Xerneas. But, like, like he fully committed. Like, if, if you're attacking with Xerneas, I feel like you also Flare Blitz. Because then, if you do get Smart Strike, you're at least taking out the Kartana. So... Um, he did fully commit to that prediction, which which, which worked out, so good on him. Um, but going to go 1-1 one, one at the start of this, so unfortunate. And we did get <laughs> bailed in the first game. Um, but there we go. Nicely played by Osada. So hopefully we're going to um, be doing a full week with this team. I do have a presentation that I need to have done by Thursday. Um, but I am going to be trying to, to fit in all this YouTube stuff as well. Because after that presentation's done... Um, then I'm like pretty much free for um, for Christmas, like apart from revision for exams. But um, free time can be put towards YouTube now. So um, we'll be good. we'll be doing some more Battle Spot now as well. The NBL um, will also be coming out. It should be um, coming out this weekend. The quarterfinals. Um, we are actually in the quarterfinals, Team Jamie, instead of top two, um, because of an error on the on the coach, um, not on the coach, the documents where. Um, Dream Ball and 2D, uh, Gritten 3D, had three more points than we expected, so um, they overtook us, and now we're playing Team Cyberbaz. Um, hopefully on th that'll be going up on Saturday, so you can look forward to that, and look forward to some more Battlespot. Thanks for watching.